don't see any print makers will know. You tend to create prints along the way that don't work out, that are um, not perfectly lined up, or you get a smudge on the border, there's something wrong with them. And often I'll cut them up and use them as notes or bookmarks when I send out my Patreon mail or in orders. There are a collection that I just don't feel like I'm very likely to use for that purpose because perhaps they're just not good enough. I'm just not going to use for anything else. My paper has been soaking overnight. Here it is. There are a few things that I need to do before I can get to actually paper making and blending that all up and making it into paper. I need to make my decal and mold. So from a second hand store I got these picture frames and I'm going to staple screen to one of these and the other one will sit on top. And the other thing I need to do is I need to cut this fabric down to the size of the paper because I'm going to dry the paper. I'm going to dry the paper on this calico fabric. the glass and the um, the mount because I might use them for another project another time bigger than the size of the paper so that I can handle it and I'm thinking I saw one person hanging up their main paper which I might do like a hang up like this. So three that way that'd be pretty good. paper
through I'm going to start peeling this paper off of this fabric and see what we've got from all my work yesterday. It's really nice and fine. It's pretty translucent. I've had this paper pressing. I ended up pressing it for a couple of days just because I got a little bit busy with some other stuff. Um, so it's flatter than it was when I peeled it off the fabric. You can see that there's like a kind of smoother side and there's a rougher, more textured side. So I'm going to be printing on the smoother side. I'm just going to design and carve a liner block to print on some of this paper and that's going to be the April Patreon reward for my pen pal level Patreons this month. to carve out this dragon that I've just been designing and transferring. Um, I'm doing another project at the moment that I will share with you soon that also has a dragon and I just feel that that was a really fun thing to design so I'm just going to do this little uh, this little version of the dragon with his arrow and his little smoke coming out of his nose and I think it's going to be a really fun print to do. As always, I will be using a combination of my Hua Hong Yu tools, the Korean tools that I have, my EC Lions Gravers, my Feel Micro U and Micro V, and the Yoshiharu uh, Large U tool. block is carved, here it is. Um, let me just try and focus on it. I don't think this handmade paper is suitable to soak. I usually soak the paper I use for printmaking. 
but given it's only one layer and this paper is quite soft I'm not sure whether it will just print smoothly with no water or whether I might need to give it a little spray of water and then just soak up any excess with paper towel I'll show you as I go what I decide to do but those are the two options I think for this paper question that I get asked most frequently on my Instagram and my YouTube is where I got my press. The press that I have is a custom built press. We are currently in the process of putting together some more of these presses so we can put them up for sale. If you're interested in getting one of these presses or finding out about these presses, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description below this video and that will allow you to sign up for my newsletter because the newsletter will be the first place that I announce the release of these. I had a first crack at printing without moistening the paper and here's the result. Um, you can see there's a little bit of white speckling through the middle of the body of the dragon but I think I'm probably going to get, be able to get a clean print without using any water, which is preferable. And actually makes me think that this paper is a really good bet for my printmaking projects, which is really exciting. So I'm going to have another go. I didn't film <laughs> uh, printing and peeling that one just because I always feel like um, I feel like the first print is most likely to go wrong and I just don't like filming it. So let's <laughs> start again. Like it's really good up here and it's really good down there where things are thinner. So I might just have a little go at moistening it and see if that makes a difference for me. just right. Alright, that's pretty good, pretty even. I'm pretty happy with that result.
the final print. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I'm really, really pleased with how the handmade paper is printing and how despite the fact it's a pretty highly textured paper, it doesn't need soaking in water. Just a little spray on the back of the page is working really, really well to get really clean prints. And I will definitely be making more paper for my work in the future. Uh, if you are interested in getting your hands on one of these prints, they will be going out as my April Patreon print for the Pen Pal Tier Patreons. Uh, so if you would like one, make sure you join up before the end of April and I will send one out to you in the post. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more printmaking videos from me, please subscribe to my channel. I put out new videos each week, usually on a Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.